hello witches and wizards, and welcome back to Love Good Bath Potions YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another How It's Magically Made. This is for the Night Bus Bath Bomb. As you can see, it is huge. It weighs over a pound, and it is completely 3D. It takes one whole batch to make just one of these Night Bus Bath Bombs. I'm telling you, these are humongous. <laughs> I think they came out really cute. I spent a whole lot of time working on these from the molds to actually making the bath bomb and painting and packaging and everything. And I cannot wait to show you guys every single detail of that. I started this in April and it is now the middle of July. I wasn't going to release these until this video was up, but I did actually release them a couple of weeks ago and I sold out within like two days. <laughs> I do want to make more of them though, they just take a really long time from start to finish. It's been a really long journey creating these bath bombs and I hope that you guys can really appreciate that. So let's get into the video. After I got my clay sculpted and cut in half, I got it baked and let it cool. Then it was time to use my vacuum forming machine. My boyfriend and I made this together for my mold making. I do plan on getting a real machine soon possibly after I move in a couple of months, but this one works fine for right now. I heated up my plastic in the oven and waited until it was bowed enough before I put it on my vacuum former. You want it to droop about the size of the thing that you're trying to cast a mold of. Casting the molds for these are actually really simple. I spent a lot of extra time on the clay to make sure that I wouldn't have to go back and add more. This is also a two-part mold something I've never tried to make before. I wanted it to be able to stand up, be huge, and completely 3D. I have two batches of bath bomb in my bowl and got the texture I wanted. I wanted it to be a little bit wetter than what I would normally do, just so that hopefully everything would hold once I squished the molds together. Did all my planning work out? Is this bath bomb gonna just fall apart or crumble? Am I gonna have to make a completely different mold? I just kept squeezing the molds together and just hoping that it wasn't gonna make a huge mess. I took off one side and it wasn't a huge mess! But how do I get it out the other side now without ruining it? How can I get it out of the molds? Out of everything I think I've ever made, this has definitely been the most stressful bath bomb. After I got the first one made, I made another one with just a little bit left of the batch. Here's a better shot of me filling the molds. I wanted to make sure that they were super full of product before I squished them together. The molds were pretty flimsy. The plastic was really thin after casting the mold. I couldn't squeeze them together as hard as I had wanted to. I wish I could have made this out of metal or some kind of other molding material to make this process easier, but it did all work out in the end. Now, time to take this one out of the mold. Let's see if I can do two for two for this one and not get breakage and <gasps> there's breakage. <laughs> Let me uh, just uh, squish that together and uh, pretend that never happened. Okay, now flip it over. Let's check the other side. A little bit of crumbling, but nothing too bad. I just pressed that together too and then kept it in the mold harden overnight. The next day, I made four more bath bombs and decided that that was enough stress. After about a week of letting them completely dry, it was time to start airbrushing them. I used royal purple to give it that night bus color. 
I covered the whole bust and then did the same thing to the other five bath bombs. I let them all dry for another couple of days before I began on the windows and the other silver details. It took me about 30 minutes, not to mention that I also painted the tires and some other black details. I sped up all of these clips so that you wouldn't have to miss most of it. It took me about three days to get most of the buses painted. I then went over them again and added more details after most of the windows and tires and such were done. I decided to paint this area all black to add a little bit of depth to the bath bomb. The next detail I added was the windows on the back of the bus. I have no idea how I even forgot to add these while I was doing the rest of the windows, but oh well. I got these 6 inch by 12 inch shrink wrap bags and they fit perfectly for these night bus bath bombs. Note to everybody that makes bath products, always make sure to wear gloves before touching bath bombs that you're going to sell to people. And also, don't forget to add a little air hole or two to the shrink wrap bags before you use the heat gun so they don't pop. When I got all of them bagged, it was time to use the heat gun. I always wear a heat protective glove in my left hand so that I can press down all of the edges. The shrink wrap plastic will get really, really hot, so it's important not to touch it with your bare hands. You will get burns and blisters, and you won't have a good time, so just don't do that. wrapping was done, I printed some of the tags from my demo printer on my computer with the ingredients and put each one of them on the bath bombs. I'm not going to be doing a bathtub shot of showing what it does in the tub, but instead I'm just going to keep this one on my Harry Potter shelf. I spent so much time making and painting these that I can't get myself to use it. Maybe someday when I really want to treat myself, or maybe when I make more, but I just can't stand using it right now. It's just too awesome. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me creating the monster book. No, it's not the monster book. Of me making the night bus bath bomb. It has been a complete roller coaster getting these created and painted, but I'm so happy that they finally came out and that I could create what I saw in my head. I loved all the details that I added and I love the size and just everything about that bath bomb I think is perfect night bus. If you would like to purchase any of my other bath bombs, I'll make sure to leave my Etsy down in the description. I also will leave a coupon code for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.